I've just spent the past weekend in London and whilst I was there I decided to grab a few Too Good To Go bags. I've always wanted to try London for Too Good To Go. I did manage to film three for you. I concentrated on bakeries, first one being from Prep. Let's have a look at what they've given us and hope that it's suitable for mine and Drew's dinner. The bag costs a fiver. It's supposed to be about £15 worth of value. It's a bit so we have, a, it's either a raisin or a cinnamon. I can't quite figure that one out, can you? Raisin or cinnamon pastry. So that'll be good for tomorrow morning or this evening. We have a yoghurt bowl which is mango and banana sunrise smoothie. So I would imagine that I need to have that tonight. There's, there is a fridge downstairs with a new hostel. Fridge downstairs, but I'm not wanting to use it. Cheese and ham sandwich. You can either have ham, you can either have cheese, you can have cheese and ham, but there's a decent cheese and ham sandwich. And then we have two more items. We've got a a pot of butternut masala soup. It smells right nice, this soup. Full pot. Ooh, that, that will do me. I reckon Drew's gonna have some of that as well. And then, an Ital Italian style chicken and basil wrap. Nice, so, what do we think, five pound? second bag that we've got to look at is from a sandwich shop bakery called Paul. I believe that Paul originates from France. There's quite a few of them scattered across London. This one was from Gloucester Road. And again, just like um, the prep bags, the times are all different depending on what's done. So our pickup were between half five and six, which were fantastic because we'd just finished in the Science Museum. It was five pound, and I think it's supposed to have a value of around 15 quid. I have never been to this bakery before, but I've always wanted to try it. So it's one of the ones that I was looking at. Let's have a look. It's quite good doing it at this time. We've just checked into the hotel um, and I am taking Drew down something to eat, but by doing this, I can see whether I'm going to be eating this stuff or having food with him downstairs and whether this is going to be for breakfast in the morning or are we going to have breakfast in the hotel and you know, it's quite a good time to open a too good to go bag. This looks like sort of a mixture of an almond pastry and a chocolate pastry, that one. Looks very nice. You hear the crisping. You see all the bits falling off on the side. <laughs> so that's item number one. I think it's a star rating of about 4.4. Now this has got a handful of serviettes in it. And another pastry. So, oh, it's a cheese croissant. That cheese feels like it's turning like it's been out for quite a long time. I don't like the feel of that. However, the croissant feels quite fresh. The cheese, I don't know that it's picking up on camera, but it definitely looks like it's seen better days. The bag, is it all gonna be pastries? This is what we're gonna be having for midnight snack. Got a mini croissant and then, oh, the different. Oh, these are cute, a mini pan of raisin. And a mini pan of chocolate. And again, they're still nice. This could be movie snacks, this. Nothing lunchable at the minute. Third and final bag. Oh, wow. What is this? Saving the best for last. So mozzarella and tomato. Panini. And it looks like, it's not even a panini, so it's really crusty bread. Looks like it's got olives baked into that. That smells nice and fresh. So I think, ladies and gents, that is what I'm going to be having for dinner. So what do we think? Let me just show you what we've got all together so you can have a good look before you decide. There we go, just in case you need a reminder of what we got from this one. That doesn't look appetising at all. Can you see it's gone to leather? That one looks quite nice. Then we've got the pastries. Yay or nay? The third bag that we're collecting is located in St Martin's Courtyard in Covent Gardens. It's called Fair Shot and it's a not-for-profit cafe. About £4.66, 
It's a vegetarian one. Let's see what we've got. So we have, oh, look at that. It's a focaccia. Is, it, is that how you call it? Focaccia? Focaccia? For, you tell me, you tell me. And I think that it's goat's cheese and sort of like um it's like a red onion chutney. Looks a nice sandwich, isn't it? We rock it on it. And then we have another sandwich. That's a bagel. Wow. A bagel, seeded bagel with falafel. Oops, it's just fall out. So anything else? No, no, that's it. So that was £4.66. What do you think of that? We have got a bonus. We've got a bonus though, because we're in Covent Garden, we've been out for something to eat. And we noticed that Lola's cupcakes had got a bag coming up. So let's have a look at the cupcakes from Lola's. I haven't had any of these for years. Now this is a chain that is all over London. These were just under five pounds, this box. Wow. So we've got four cupcakes. Oops. And I'll pop the price on the screen because I took a, took a little picture of how much four cupcakes would have cost. Because um, I think that they said it was about nine quid's worth of food. So that's your first one that we've got. And then we have two of these. It's like a Lotus Biscoff. And last but not least, we have a raspberry. Is that like, maybe, I feel that this might be a peach melba. Yeah, sort of situation going on. So they're all our two good to go boxes. From this trip to London. I hope you hope you've enjoyed coming along and seeing what kind of things London has to offer. I stuck with um, coffee shops or bakeries. I thought they were the right thing to do but they have so many different places on Too Good To Go. You are literally spoiled for choice. If you are ever in London make sure to grab a Too Good To Go bag.